Round two. <laughs> Technology. <sighs> yes, I'm live. Right there, let's get a show on the road. Okay. We are live and working. All right. Okay. Hi, then, gang. How's it going? How's it going? Right. Oh, my God. All your comments are on the thing. Right, okay. Comments from the Facebook live post appear on Be Live. Guys, I'm still new to this Be Live stuff, so bear with, yeah? <laughs> bear with. Hello, how's it going? Eric, hiya. How are you? So, all your um, comments are actually coming up in the middle of my screen. So, how can I change that? Nikki, hello, Nikki. Hi, Richie. Hi, Cece. Hi, Latavia. <laughs> Hi, Eric. How is everyone today? How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? I got my uh, my healing Buddha right there. My first Reiki teacher gave this to me as a gift and I love it. It's my boo-boo. <laughs> Um, so how is everyone doing anyway? How are you all doing? Hello, goddess. Hello, goddess back. Moody. <laughs> I'm well, thank you, Eric. Thanks for asking. It's um, been very, very warm today here in Wales, in the UK. Um, I was drawn to this blue today, so uh, it actually looks more blue on screen. It's a little bit more greeny. Excited for my weekend away at the lake. Wow, that sounds really nice. Nice one. And well, watching and sharing you before my meditation. Thank you, Cece. I love you. Thank you, thank you. I just gotta wait for people to come in and uh, we'll do the weekly cards and then um, I'll pull a card for whoever wants a card. I am gonna list a few websites before I do get started um, from the top of my head. So if I miss anyone out, please make sure you put your website in the box, right? Beautiful, good, God, goddess. Dude, guys, I'm loving this goddess talk. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> Keep it coming, y'all. I'm gonna share this to a few groups, all right? before I get started. So stay tuned guys, if you want the free cards, 
stay tuned. I'm going to go through the weekly energies first for next week. And then I will pull a card for you. Um, I also have a quote here as well that I'm going to bring out. Ah, I love you too. Just sharing this to a few groups and then we're going to get started, all right? Get as many as I can in here and then uh, a way to go, like, you know. So what's everyone been up to anyway? What's everyone been up to? I know where uh, Eric's off to the lake. All right, guys, I'm going to shoot to the last group now, and then uh, we shall get uh, ready. We shall roll, rock and roll, as they say. Rock and roll. Naomi, thanks for sharing my video. Thank you, Richie and CC. Julie, where are you? Gaz Reese, how's it going? Hey right, guys, I'll wait a few more moments. Please share this video around. Rock and roll, indeed, Gaz Reese. How are you? Long time no see, my friend. Peace, love, power, and protection to you. Boom. So, guys, I want to show you this book. It's really cool, right? It's called Wisdom for Life. And uh, it's just full of quotes on different things. I've pulled this one today. Um, and it's really cool, actually. Um, but before I get started, websites. I'm going to link all websites. Uh, Hopeevolve.com. Uh, angelfeathervision.org, vowofservice.org, uh, don't forget Shaman Poet, uh, the inner essence.net, um, recently new to the, to the Divine Direction group on Facebook, which I've just started very, very recently, which is going to have us all in one place, pretty much, um, Inner Strings of Wisdom, Nietzsche, Ignacio. And he's just pull up, brought out a video today with his card, so go and check that out. And Tasha Hawker, Psychic Medium. And if you didn't catch us uh, doing our weekly video, our cards, you can catch us on Divine Direction because we were, last week we did a Divine Collaboration, a... Uh, card collaboration it was really really good so we're going to be doing that again tomorrow guys live we're going to be doing free card readings for you all and psychic mediumship clairvoyance the lot so make sure to tune in for that tomorrow um 9 p.m my time which is london uk time all right divine direction 9 p.m london uk time um and we are going live. We're going to be doing oracle card readings, spiritual card readings, anything that you need, right? Um, Vivek Sharma, thank you. Hello, how are you? Rock on, rock on, guys. <laughs> Jodie Widdis, hello, my darling. Please share and get as many people as you can here. And then we will get started. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. What's up? Hi, Vivek. How's it going? Hope Evolve.com, that's right. Make sure to check it out, guys. Hope Evolve.com. What's up? Hi, Vivek. Right, it's definitely working, guys. My video is definitely working. The sound and vision is all good. Um, CC, can you add in these websites for me as well, please? So we have www.hopeevolve.com and angelfeathervision.org. So angelfeathervision.org. The inner essence.net. I've memorized everyone's page. <laughs> Don't forget Shaman Poet, Rory Campbell. Go check him out. He is awesome. Absolutely amazing. Aaron Fowler, Psychic, Psychic Clairvoyance. So I'm going to put these on the screen now. CC is going to um, show me the website. So you have angelfeathervision.org with Eddie, who is creating a natural sanctuary in Hawaii for everyone. You can all go there. Rory Campbell. So Rory Campbell is a shaman poet. So if you haven't checked him out, go check him out, guys. He is, he is so cool, seriously. He is awesome. He channels his higher self. Um, Draven, Draven, his name is his highest self is Aaron Fowler. If you haven't yet gone to see what he is up to, he's a, a clairvoyant medium, does it all. So go and check his page out. I think it's um, let me have a look. It's psychic. Hang on, Aaron Fowler. Ah, psychic medium at psychic impressions. Right, that's. His page, Aaron Fowler, Psychic Medium at Psychic Impressions, right? And then we got Eddie Hinsley, which is the founder of Angel Feather Vision. And CC we have here in the comments, CC Chapman, the founder of the inneressence.net. I've literally memorized all of them. It's pretty cool actually. <laughs> it makes life so much easier. <laughs> So check out Eddie Hinsley, he's the founder of angelfeathervision.org. Uh, CC's website is theinneressence.net. She does card reading, she does uh, healing, loads of stuff, guys, all right? So go and check CC out. She's a beautiful, beautiful soul, big heart, full of love. So please go and check out CC Chapman, all right? And here we have Aaron Fowler, Psychic Medium at Psychic Impressions. Go check him out. He is awesome, guys. He is freaking amazing. I can't even stress it enough. Like, all right, well, we're definitely working, guys. We're definitely working. I'm just kind of waiting for everyone to jump in, you know. Um, so Aaron Fowler in the house. There he is, look. Psychic Medium, Psychic Impressions. Go check him out. Next up, we have CC Chapman, the inner essence.net. The inner essence.net. She does loads of cool stuff. Um, have I missed anyone out, guys? Tasha Hawker. She is a um, lips of a goddess, intuitive psychic medium on Facebook. All right. She does psychic mediumship. She also does light language and soul light language. Pretty, pretty cool stuff, guys. I'm actually going to be starting to learn learn that. I mean, we can we can all do it. So, um, you're welcome, CC. I think I'm going to send this to a few guys and girls and then we're going to get into it. We're going to get into the cards. 
So right, just sent it to a few people. So I'm gonna get on with the show. Norma, love you, love you too. I'm gonna be collaborating with Norma as well, doing cards. So it's pretty cool stuff. Eric Heed's a photographer. Go check him out, guys. I haven't yet seen most met much of his work, but what I have seen is pretty awesome. So go and check Eric Eric Head out, guys. I then <laughs> if I missed anyone's websites out, check them in. Oh, vowelservice.org, right? Vowelservice.org. All right. So Nikki and John. So right, then let's get on with this quote where I picked up here by here for you. This is my book of Wisdom for Life. It's full of quotes. You're welcome. One for all, all for one. Hey. <laughs> okay, seek not to know what must not be revealed. Joys only flow where fate is most concealed. Too busy man would find his sorrows more if future fortunes he should know it before. Oh, hang on. For by that knowledge of his destiny, he would not live at all, but always die. And that's by John Dridden. And it's on, whoa, guys, it's on page 111. Yes, he does, CC. Eric Heed does have beautiful photography. Hey, all, Aaron. How's it going? And... Shaman poet in the house. <laughs> hey. Vow of service. Here's a vow of service website. Look, go check them out, guys. Rory Campbell is in the house, everyone. So there he is, Shaman Poet. Oh, hey. If I've missed any website out, um they will be put in, right? I am. That's Aaron, that's because I have memorized pretty much all the websites. <laughs> hey there, girl. Hey there. Hey there. Hey, everyone. So I'm going to read this quote again. Then we're going to get into the cards for the week. And then if you're that patient and you wait till the end, I will pull a free card reading. But tomorrow... Tomorrow is the live card reading with me and Tasha on Divine Direction on Facebook, right? We could be bringing clairvoyant psychic mediumship in. Um, last week, we were on for like nearly three hours, guys. So, you know, please jump on, right? Anyway, let's crack on to this quote for you all that I've chose, which happens to be page 111. <laughs> um, the future, the past, and the here and now. So, seek not to know what must not be revealed. Joys only flow where fate is most concealed. Too busy man would find his sorrows more if future fortunes he should know before. For by that knowledge of his destiny, he would not live at all but always die. And the other quote just on this page is, Gather your rosebuds while ye may. Old time is still a flying, and the same flower which smiles today, tomorrow will be dying. That's an interesting one, actually. You know, that's pretty much don't forget to stop and smell the flowers while you are able to do so. You know what I mean? That's a really, in fact, you know, that's a really important um, quote there because we take life for granted, you know. We do take life for granted. And it was only yesterday where I was saying, you know, it's, it's not until you've lost what you used to have, that's where your mind starts opening up and you start seeing things in a different light. Thank you for sharing, CC. Much love to you. Aaron, much love to you as well, mate. And thank you. Rory for sharing dude thank you everyone for joining right let's get cracking let's get crack a lack in <laughs> uh, 
Check out Rory's videos. He is awesome. He's got this one saying. No, he's got two of them. He's got these two sayings that I've picked up on so far. And one of them goes a little something like this. When you look in that mirror every single day, you tell yourself you are beautiful. You are benevolent. You are powerful. You are I don't know the rest. Rory will fill you in, but it goes something like that and it's freaking awesome. <laughs> crack a lacking. Crack a lacking. We're here. <laughs> so, guys, please share this out because, um, you know, uh, I don't know if you saw as well this feather that I found yesterday. It's really nice. Crack a lack in this right, guys. That is right. Right, so these cards are going to be for next week, for the week 29th. Let's have a look. I've already cleared the deck, but I just like to give it an extra knock just to be sure. Norma, we love you too, man. Woman, <laughs> we love you too. It's so warm today in Wales, I tell you. Absolutely boiling. So, for next week, I'm going to pull some cards. Let's take a look, gang. I already have one which caught my eye. So, for Monday and Tuesday, beautiful star of the week, guys. Couldn't get any better than that. Queen of Coins, Queen of Coins, this lady, this man, this energy, this energy right here, right, is very grounded, it's very stable, it's very secure, it's very balanced. Now, to me, what this is saying is that we all need to be a bit more like this queen, all right? We all need to be a bit more grounded, stable, secure. Follow your intuition and your feelings when it concerns work, right? This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. Follow your feelings and your intuition when it concerns work and career and finances, money, all of that, right? Tune in because what's happening is, right, what is happening, guys, is that a lot of us are just putting up with stuff. And we're not even happy in that place where we are. You know, we're not even happy doing what we're doing. So this card to me feels like, you know, start following intu your intuition. Start following what your soul is guiding you to follow. You know what I mean? By following your intuition, by following your intuition and your feelings, your soul leads you to where you are meant to be. But the thing is, the thing is, in this day and age, we have a lack of patience. <laughs> we have a lack of patience, right? Change your settings to public. Just done it, Aaron. Just changed it to public. I double double check. Hang on. Yeah, it's public, dude. All right. I've changed it. It's it's public now. I've just went onto my video on my page and changed it. So. Follow your intuition, guys. Follow your gut feelings, right? Your soul is leading you on a path which is going to bring great abundance and prosperity, joy, all that stuff that you're always seek seeking. But the thing is, because we're so trying to control everything, right, we're actually blocking the path of abundance to us. 
<laughs> we're actually blocking it and we don't even realize we're blocking it because we're trying to control everything like it is nuts yeah it is <laughs> it's nuts we are a little bit mentally like insane right mentally insane in the membrane so to me this is saying next week follow your intuition because it's going to bring you on that path of abundance that you were seeking all right so queen of coins there capricorn virgo taurus as well someone may be coming in to help you or you may be one of those signs. Maybe you're helping someone else with their finances, their career, all right? Hiya, Tammy. Thank you for joining me. So, um, so that's for Monday and Tuesday. Now, for Wednesday and Thursday, let's have a look. Let's have a look what we have. It's just starting to get dark here in Wales as well. So Monday and Tuesday. Yes, Andrea. We are a little insane in the membrane. You've hit the nail in the head there. <laughs> definitely right here we have it wednesday and thursday wow guys 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 two of cups can't look how beautiful that is Ooh. two of cups i'm gonna try and find rory's message again because it is freaking awesome two of cups guys look at that right this is the card of love right here Now, if I bring up the Queen of Coins, actually, no, I'm not going to go through the whole pack and find her, right? But the Queen of Coins, I feel, is bringing in this love, right? The energy. If you just follow your intuition, it's leading you to this, to this beautiful, harmonious relationship that you're always trying to seek. But what's coming through here as well is it's like reflection it's it's a reflection you you reflect what you're feeling outwards right and then by doing so that comes back to you it's a reflection this is what's coming through a reflection right um so make sure what you're putting out is what you want to bring back right what you want to manifest um if you are looking for this harmonious beautiful mind body and spirit relationship make sure you are loving you totally mind body and spirit you know what i mean it all starts from here guys all starts from here 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 <laughs> you are angelic you are benevolent you are beautiful you are peace of that is be present in the greatness that you are in the words of rory campbell i could have said it better myself like hi new to the show thank you for joining me dion Yes, CC, you're very, very true. You're very right. It is a beautiful, beautiful week next week, actually. To share is to live, and to love is to be in all that you are, and all of that which is within you. <laughs> Rory is really uh, inspiring me lately, man. His words are so beautiful and elegant and poetic but yet so very very truthful yet to share is to live rory thank you very much man thank you everyone who's uh, here supporting me it means a great deal i'm like i'm also supporting everyone else in doing so as well right so wow <laughs> We are 
have an awesome week, guys, next week. And see, it's like Cece didn't even say, you know, mention the scale of how awesome it's going to be. It's, uh, it's about following your intuition, your gut instincts, because it's going to lead you onto that road of abundance and prosperity. It's going to bring that in. And by doing so, you're also going to bring in that relationship as well. So it's a little bit of money career here, a little bit of on relationships. But first of all, love yourself, look after your mind, body, and spirit in one. And that is what you're going to reflect, right? That's what you're going to reflect. And here now, a card has chipped over. So here we have, here we have, let me see. <laughs> Ace of Swords, guys, you know the truth. You know the truth within your heart. You know if something isn't feeling right. You know if something is feeling, if something is feeling right. And just keeping up with your comments, guys. Thank you for the beautiful comments, everyone. Ace of Swords, guys, clarity vision vision definitely vision and think about it the sword reflects off what it doesn't want to hold so there's a lot of talk about reflection next week as well making sure before you know not to judge others because in by doing so you're judging yourself that's also coming through so bear that in mind <laughs> Ace of Swords, you have victory, but mostly over your, your words. You have victory over the words that you are speaking, pretty much, right, and communicating. This is also about clear communication, clear communication to others, but also yourself. Make sure you know what it is you want, guys. Before you put something out into the world, is that what you want? Is that what you want? Clear your thoughts. Clear your mind. All right? Aim high, guys. Aim high. Look at this eagle right there. Look at that eagle. Aim high. Higher than you've ever gone before. All right? Aim high. Aim high. I like that. I like that. So, right, we're still rolling. Awesome. Awesome. I think I might use Be Live a bit more. It seems to be working better than the Facebook. Okay, one more, guys, for the weekend, next weekend. That wasn't the card. <laughs> we are the stars and water and earth. Love and live as one energy. Wow. That's beautiful, Andrea. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Dion, for joining me. You are worthy. That's right indeed, Rory. You are worthy. You are powerful. You are magnetic. You can create anything you wish. You are the magician. You hold the magic within you. Bring that magic back to you from the universe. You are with, uh, one with the universe, and the universe is one with you. You hold the power, guys, to create anything you want. Like, you know, never forget that. Never forget that. So everyone who's joining me right now, I've just done Monday and Tuesday cards, Wednesday and Thursday's card for next week. Um, I've just done Friday, but I feel one more wants to come out for Saturday and Sunday, okay? And Hope, Hope family, David Hopkins in the house, everyone. Founder of HopeEvolve.com. Founder of HopeEvolve.com. I do feel this card wants to come out there. Let's check these uh, comments. I love their brightness. Please share this. So awesome. Rory, my number one fan. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. You are perfect. 
guys, come on. You are perfect, man. You know, you are perfect. Don't believe in anything less. Mirrors. Yeah, CC, you know, that's what it's about. Make sure what you're reflecting out into the world is how you are truly seeing yourself. Not how you think you're seeing yourself, but how you are truly seeing yourself with clarity. Love not just half of you, the whole of you, right? Ace of Swords, cool. Yes, it is, guys. Yes, it is. David Hopkins is in the house, everyone. Go check out Hope Evolve. Awesome, awesome. Sarah Jessica Parker. Hi there. Thank you for joining. Yes, you may have a card. I'm just finishing up the weekly reading now, and then I'll crack on to some cards, all right? But tomorrow, guys, if you don't know, I'm going live with Tasha Hawker, Psychic Medium. We're going to be doing cards right tomorrow on Divine Direction on Facebook. So go like and follow Divine Direction. We're going to be posting all our stuff there, right, in one place. So you'll be able to, you know, make, you know, catch up, you know, and not lose anything, all right? And I'm bringing all the people together. I've linked up all the websites, Hope Evolve, Angel Feather Vision, Vow Service, Rory Campbell, Shaman Poet, Inner Strings of Wisdom, um, Tasha Hawker, uh, the inner essence.net, all these beautiful, magical beings of light and love, right? All their, all their links, right? Divine Direction. Go check it. It's a very new page, so there's going to be more stuff going on there. But all the links and all these wonderful, amazing, awesome people, right, who are trying to make this world a better place, are there all the links right so go there check them all out you are beautiful tammy you are beautiful you are beautiful yes you are <laughs> someone put a fan in my room though i need a fan it's way too warm here man we eagles dare to fly and soar that is right Love you, Carrie Ann. Love you, Tammy. Love you. Right, guys, so I'm going to crack on and finish the, the weekly reading, right? This, this came out. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Look at that. Look at the magic that you create when you come together with like-minded individuals who hold the same mission as you. Look at that. See these wands? This four wands. This is the four of wands, right? When you all come together, you create a foundation that you're able to build upon. What do they say? They say three is a crowd, two is something, or four is a, I don't know. But that's just coming in, right? They say three is a crowd. And if you have the fourth member, it balances it out. But what I'm saying is, this is what you can create when you come together with people who are on the same page as you. And I don't know if you can see there, guys, but next week, going into the weekend, there is a rainbow. Look at that rainbow. See it right for there, guys, right in the middle. Let things flow, guys. Let things flow. Look at that water. Let it go as it wishes to go. Don't quite try and control things, people. Don't try and control. This card is also about bringing in steady foundations. Just like we had the Queen of Coins. Also very steady and grounding, right? This is about creating what it is you wish to create. But doing so in a steady, grounded manner that you don't lose your balance, all right? This is what's coming through for me to give you, all right? Um, so create ways you wish to do, have that passion, have that zing, um, have that zest, you know? Have all of that, 
but don't forget to keep your feet on the ground is what I'm getting for you, right? This can also show weddings and things like that. Coming together with people, though, I feel is what's coming up. So, guys, that's what I have for the weekly reading, right? Um, and, you know, if you want to catch the beginning of this reading, make sure to check out that after I finish the live, right? And you just have to go back to the start and you will get the reading and the messages for next week. Eagle vision. So above the, so above the rubbish, guys. Don't get drawn into the drama, the chaos, all of that. Eagles are so above that. They don't get involved in that. All right? Let's have a look at these comments, guys. Yes, thank you, David. If this resonates, please do share it, guys. Please do share. Let's have a look at more wonderful comments. Here's a nice one by there from Andrea. I can fly higher than an eagle and you are the wind beneath my wings. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. You rock. So do you, David. <laughs> so do you, my friend. HopeEvolve.com all the way, guys. All the way. AngelFeatherVision.org all the way, guys. The inner essence.net, all the way. Rory Campbell, shaman poet, all the way. Aaron Fowler, psychic medium on Facebook, all the way. The inner essence.net, all the way. <laughs> Yes, Shaman, I will pick you one. Of course I will. If you stay tuned, um, keep commenting, right? Because I'm going through all the comments, so I end up forgetting about the earlier people who've asked for a comment. <laughs> um, hey, Rory and Hope family and all. Hi, David. So I just want to say thank you, everyone, for joining me here today. Uh, it means a great, it means great stuff. We are goddess and goddesses, Joyce and Borderland. Yes, yes, indeed we are, Joyce. Oh, one second, guys, can I just fell. Thank you. You're welcome, David. Thank you as well. Much love, peace and blessings. And don't forget to check out David's wife's book, guys, Perception. Awesome, awesome book, Perception. Alison Hopkins, go check her out, guys. Sam Haynes in the house. Hello, my dear. How are you? Please share if you are able. Much love. Ah, oh, David, I love you too, man. Tiamo, Tiamo, Tiamo. <laughs> I've been saying that all day. All day. Hopeevolve.com, guys. There it is. There it is. Okay, so cards time, everyone. I'm going to pull some cards for whoever wants a card. Um, Let's check it out. Please let me know if you want a card, all right? So, Shaman Poet, I'm going to bring you out a card now, all right? So, this card's for Shaman Poet. I know we had temperance last time, so we shall see since that time what is coming up. Whoa! <laughs> But that's not for you. Helping our planet evolve. There it is, guys. There it is. So if you want to know what hope means and stands for, it means helping our planet evolve. 
card for Rory, please. Card for Rory. There. Hmm. Now, Rory, <laughs> two have turned around. I hate when this happens because I have to choose. Yikes. Like, I'm just going to read them both. I'm just going to read them both. These are your cards, Rory. You have the Chariot and Two of Wands. The mission, hope evolve, indeed. So, Rory, you are bringing the balance back in, right? You are bringing that balance back into focus. You are, you are on the journey of victory, my friend. You are truly journeying towards your victory, your destination, right? And also, there could be this what feels like two different energies here, two different directions. You're going to have to figure a way to bring those two things together, all right? Work with these two things. But if you check this out, Rory, you have the chariot here, right? which is travel, it's a journey, it's a spiritual journey. It can be a mental journey, it could be a physical journey, whatever res resonates with you. But this is, however, a journey of some sort, right? Um, from A to B to B to C to T C to D, and so on and so forth. But see those horses, Rory, see those horses? They're going in separate directions, but you are the controller of the horses so this means you have control over your life you have control in whichever direction you want to steer it is up to you but sometimes we have two opposing energies and forces and we need to find a way of bringing them together Rory so that you can unlock so that you can unlock the boxes of magic look at that so you have the chariot and the two of wands now, I don't know if you know, Rory, but the Chariot is also the Cancerian card. Check out the moon there. So you're following your intuition. It is showing you the path and journey that you need to follow. And you being very spiritually in touch with that, you are following it, my friend. You are following it. Yes, you are. And I just had a bit of um, a tingly feeling then near my head. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you have boxes to unlock. You have things to unlock within you that you haven't yet done so also. But you are there. You are there. Yes, you are. And the chariot is the cancer card. And the, no, yes, it is. It's the cancer card. So thank you, Rory. I hope that has uh, made sense to you. That's very fine, David. You watch whenever you have time, dear. But thank you for the support and sharing. Uh, it means a great deal to me. So thank you very much, <laughs> Rory. It just is. We just do. We just know, my friend. <laughs> That's so, so true, guys. That's so, so true. <laughs> Divine direction. Hey! See, you're part of Divine Direction, Rory. I've just introduced you, and you are directing, you know? You are on the path of directing, so, you know. And there's two of wands. That means collaboration, partnerships. Guys, if you haven't yet done so, go like and follow Divine Direction. It's a new page I've created where... Um, at first, it was just going to be Tasha, Psychic Medium, and myself um, doing card readings for you each week. But now I've decided I'm going to bring in so many talented and gifted people. It would be a shame to not share them on the show. All right. So, and I've always dreamt, well, not dreamt, but <laughs> I've always wanted to collaborate with so many gifted, talented people. So, you know, here it is. I'm making it happen. We all have that power to make things happen. You just have to keep following it through, guys. You have to keep following it through. 
So next card, next card goes to, please let me know if you want a card, please. All right, Cece Chapman. So you just put, you want a card. And David Hopkins has just said there, share, which means sharing hope and raising energy. And share is a group that hope evolved that we are all a part of. It feels like the heating is on my, in my room and it's not. That's how warm it is. There is no A. Like someone give me A. <laughs> the more the merrier. Yeah, see guys, Gaz Reese, um, my old mate Gaz Reese is in the house and I've known him for quite a while. And even he just said just now, you know, he remembers me speaking before a long time ago that I've always wanted to collaborate and join with some amazing people. And here I am, you know. Yeah, CC, that Four of Wands card is freaking amazing. Share this amazing light. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to raise the energies and the frequencies. And um, <laughs> CC blows air to me. I need a fan, guys. I'm going to pick up a fan. It's not even warm in Wales. You know, it's not even warm in Wales. But today, it's freaking boiling. Like, the sun came out of nowhere. Like, I sat in the sun for, like, 10 minutes. And I started burning. I was like, what? <laughs> and just check in the comments. Invite all your friends. Yes, please do invite everyone. Um, you know, we're all joining and helping each other raise our energies and frequencies. I'm linking up with everyone on Divine Direction and bringing us all together. You know, we are one, one for all. And there's a guy opposite my house on the street looking into my room because I forgot to shut the curtains and they're probably thinking, what a netter. What a netter. <laughs> You're doing excellent. I'm very proud of you. Ah, uh, there he is. There's my old mate Gaz. But they look awesome guy. Awesome guy. Always been there. Always been there for me. I haven't seen him for a while, but I will do soon. Okay, guys. Right. I'm going to scroll to the top to the, of the comments. I would love a card, please, and thank you. Right. Here we go, Dion. This next card is for Dion. If you'd like a card, please let me know. Dion, for some reason, I'm seeing an umbrella for you. I have no idea what that's about. Because um, <laughs> I was just talking about the weather being boiling here. So, um, But for you, I'm seeing an umbrella. Uh, I don't know, Dion, if you know that song by Bruno Mars. There'll be no sunlight if I lose you, baby. Hi, Bruno Mars. Um, rain. Rain or something like that. I don't know. Do you know that song? Bruno Mars, Rain. But this is what's coming through for you. I love that song too as well, though. It's a beautiful song. But Bruno Mars, Rain. Um, and I'm seeing an umbrella for you, Dion. And I haven't even pulled your card yet. <laughs> Your car's not wanting to come out, Dion. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh. Look. The sun. <laughs> the sun's going to come out. It's going to be a brand new day for you, Dion. 
all right if you've been going through a difficult phase the sun is going to come out and shine some light on your rainy situation or issue but that's why i've seen the umbrella and um, because you've been going through a bit of a, a, a um i was going to say wet patch um and now it's going to be a dry spell but <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm getting for you. I feel things are going to brighten up for you, Dion. Things are going to get better. This is also the Leo card. So I don't know if you, you're a Leo or someone else is around you as a Leo. Love that song. Yes, yeah, Bruno Mars, Rain. You're welcome, Dion. I would love a card, Deborah. Oop. Thank you very much, Deborah. Thank you. That means a great deal. And please share. Yes, thank you, Rory, for support. Thank you, Cece. Thank you, all my love, Hope family. I love you all. I would love a card. Your intuition is gorgeous and authentic. Thank you. Yes, the strength card is the Leo card, which is the sun card. Sam Haynes, me please, I would love a card you were spot on last time. Okay, guys, so this card, next card is going to be for Deborah. <sighs> Gotta keep drinking when you're doing readings, guys. Keep the energy flowing. This card's for Deborah. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm seeing a giraffe, Deborah, for you. That's so random. That is so freaking random. I don't know if you know what that's about. I'm seeing a giraffe for you. To me, this feels like you need to... Um, you need to... Reach high, Deborah. You need to reach high. You need to get up to the top of ways you want to get to. Perhaps you're not quite there yet, but you are reaching that level. Um, I have got one card here that just got my attention, but there's like four there, so I'll keep shuffling. My phone keeps kicking me out. I have no idea why that is, David. I have got the privacy onto public. So it should be okay. So no idea there. Yeah, Deborah, I know what card that is. I also have that card deck, the Enchanted Map. Guys, guys. Deborah, you have the Strength card. So you have to be strong, Deborah. Wherever it is you're trying to get to, you have to be strong. You have to stand up tall, keep your pride, keep your respect, right? Um, you 
Know that you are worthy. Know that you are capable. Know that you have the power and the strength. And also one again is no one is above you. No one is above you or higher than you. All right. So if there's someone who's being on a, a an ego power trip, ignore it, right? Because you have the strength. Just show them who's boss. Show them who who you are, right? Be true and authentic to you, Deborah. Okay. Yeah, I was picking up on someone who was in your old career who wasn't treating you as they should have been treating you. So. Guys, who would like the card? Um, I hope I haven't missed anyone. Please let me know if you want a card. Awesome you are, Jeannie Campbell. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. That means a great deal. Thank you. Um, who would like a card? Please let me know. Yes, you see, they have those things on here as well. Whoever would like a card, please let me know. I do, goddess. David asked for a card. Okay. Right, so let's go first of all with Joyce Anne. Joyce Ann, I really, uh, really like your picture, the green leaves. Uh, it might be, actually, it might be, uh, yeah, it is what I thought it was. Um. <laughs> oh, so funny. Okay, this next card's for Joyce Ann Bordelin. Guys, it's so much easier to do card readings, like, on Be Live. Because all the comments come up on the screen. It's much easier than Facebook. So I'm really happy with Be Live. Thank you, Be Live, for making my life so much easier. Like This next card's for Joyce Ann. Eileen, I've had a roller coaster of emotions this week and confusable. Okay, Eileen. Keep um, posting in the comments that you want a card, right? So, this card is for Joyce Ann Bordelin. Toy box. Toy box. No idea what that means, Joyce Ann. Toy box or toy boy? <laughs> no idea. Hmm. Interesting. Joyce Ann, you have the tower. So you have the tower. I'll hold that up close for you to have a good look. The tower card. Okay, CC. The tower card isn't a bad card to receive. It's actually a, um, it's actually a really positive card, right? But everyone sees it in a negative way because they don't understand it, basically. But this is just saying, Joyce. This is saying anything that is not helping you be the best version of yourself in your life, right, situations, people, 
that's gonna leave you right that's gonna leave you for a reason so what spirit for me is saying to you is don't control it don't try and control what what you need to let go of if this does this relate to you joyce ann it they're saying to me don't control the outcome don't control the outcome because if things are happening for you for a reason things have to change for a reason and you can you know you have to let go of the control so whatever that means to you um joyce ann all right the things i feel for you are, ch are gonna change whatever isn't making you happy or raising you up to where you're meant to be right raising you up i feel things are going to change but for the better but for the better all right so don't don't you know freak out with this change wherever it is gonna be and um, more so spirits are saying just go with it just go with it you know allow it just ease into the discomfort or you know whatever it is going to be you know obviously i can't see that but i am picking up on change all right david hopkins this is for you i don't know if you're still around but this card's for you all right I know you had the Page of Wands last time. Here it is. That was very, very quick. So you've got the same card as Cece had last time, David, and it's the Nine of Wands. All right. I'll hold that up nice and close for you to see. But it's, it's quite similar to the energy that Cece had, where you are... A slave, well, a not slave, you are a servant to your cause, you know, you are holding the faith, you know, you are working so hard to get what it is that you want to achieve, um, you know, you are also surrendering to things you can't control, David, things are out of your control, and you see those wands behind him, these are people who have your back. These are people who are with you, who are alongside you. And also these are um, these ones for you, David. They are, yeah, they're people also who you've kind of collected. And when I say collected, you know, who you have come across within your journey who are standing by you firm and strong and have your back. That's the energy that I've got there for you, David. But you're nearly there. You're so close. This is the nine, David. This is the nine. So you're nearly at the end of a cycle. You're nearly there. you just got a few more steps to go, all right? Thank you, David. That's for you. I hope you um, saw that message. Right, guys. Um, who have I missed now? Who is next? Let me scroll down the comments. Try and keep this fair as possible. I didn't know you were on. Not many do. <laughs> Eileen Donovan, let's get a card for you, my dear. Let's get a card for you. I feel you need a little bit of guidance there, my darling. Okay, hey, this next card's for Eileen. I seen your card, but here, Eileen. Interesting. Key 
to possessions, I'm hearing. Key to possession. Someone holds a key to either their own possessions or your possessions or what have you. But someone isn't playing very fairly, uh, Eileen. Someone isn't playing very fair. <sighs> someone around you, whether this is yourself or someone around you, wants to keep everything to themselves. Now, this could be emotions as well. This could be feelings. Someone may not be speaking their their um, their feelings and keeping it within. Um, this is the four of coins, right? So this also connects to the heart chakra. If you are aware of tarot cards, in the four of uh, pentacles card, right, he has a pentacle on his heart. He has... I think one here and one on his feet. So there is an element of needing to ground yourself somewhere as well and balance yourself. All right. Um, someone may try to be knocking you off balance. Don't allow them to do that. All right. The four of pentacles, four of pentacles there. Sneaky, sneaky. Definitely sneaky, sneaky energy. So that was for you, Eileen. Who is next, guys? Okay, this next card is for Antoinette. A few more guys, and then I'm going to call it uh, a day because it's very, very warm in my room. I need some ice. <laughs> So this next card is for Antoinette. Keep it rolling, they're saying. Keep it rolling. No idea. No idea. Keep it rolling. Ah, this would explain why they're saying that, because you have the hanged man, Antoinette. Pull that close to the screen for you to have a good look. So when they're saying keep it rolling for you, Antoinette, they're saying don't stall. Don't, um, Keep it rolling, but also in a way where you're biding your time. So it's quite a crazy message there. Um, but you're going to know what this means, okay? I feel you feel stuck, but you're not. Spirit is saying you have the power to keep me moving. You just need to um, clear your mind. Meditation is going to be good for you right now. Things are perhaps not as clear as you wish, Antoinette, but more, but um, don't worry about it, you know, just keep it moving for now, just just chill, you know, let things go, let things, um, you know, go with the flow, keep it moving, you know, you know, the, the water doesn't stand still, it keeps flowing despite the problems that may arise, it still goes with the flow. That's for you, Antoinette. All right, guys, a few more, and then I'm going to call it a day, all right? I'll accept the card. CC, you are up next, my darling. Okay, CC, let's take a look.
have a CC please for CC Chapman? There it is, CC. Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo. Wow. Ace of Wands, my darling. Dragons there. I know you are connected to dragons. So pretty much you have the fire energy right with you. You can create whatever. You have the opportunity to create whatever, right? Let's take a look, CC. Ooh. <laughs> something is stirring within you. Some Something of... Um, Great passion and creativity, something new. Um, I can feel that. I can see that. And all you have to do is take this wand and whew, set your your uh, set it in motion. Is what I'm getting for you, CC. Set it in motion. This is a wand, so you hold the magic. You know, you can strike the fire from this wand like Harry Potter and create magic. That's for you, CC. Pick one for CC. Yep, I just did. Very much so. You're welcome, Joyce Anne. This is a nice quote for here. We are all equally important, beautiful, none left behind, not even when. Here we are. That's from uh, Rory's higher self, from uh, Draven there. Let's check these comments. Jacqueline Dawn. Let's have a look. Let's have a card for Jacqueline. I'm going to pull the card for you before Jacqueline. I hope you're all well and good anyway, guys. You know, I'd love to hear what you've been up to and stuff. And please follow Divine Direction on Facebook because tomorrow I'm going live with Tasha Hawker, a psychic medium. We're going to be bringing clairvoyance and psychic mediumship um, and on different shows. Different shows, we're going to be bringing in all different stuff as well, you know, topics, discussion. So it's going to be really cool. And I'm going to be bringing all different other people as well onto the show. We have Shaman Poets coming on live with me soon. Aaron Fowler and his wife, I'm going to be going live with them. Uh, CC, I'm going to be going live with CC soon, doing some cards. And wherever we need to. Ooh, the Jacqueline, this card's five of wands. There's a... Uh, this card, Jacqueline, talks about irritation. For you, irritation is what I'm getting. Some things are irritating you and you need to clear this energy. Wherever it is, this could be within you, um, outside yourself, Jacqueline, I'm not sure. But the five is also changed, so wherever it needs to change is gonna is gonna come. Um five of wands. It's I don't know if you if you read your cards, I'm sure you read cards, Jacqueline, but five of wands is chaos, people fighting, arguing. Um, a, a lack of harmony. So only you know what that means, but this card I pulled for you. So, you know, find the harmony and find the peace within you, all right? And with other people as well. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Next card goes to... I would love a read. 
Yes, of course, Luella Nellis. That's a nice name. Now I like that. I would love a read, Luella Nellis. That's a really cool name, Luella Nellis. Very different, isn't it? Very, very different. Heather Nicole, you sure can have a car, dear? Of course you can. I just would like someone to bring a bucket of ice and throw it on me. That's how warm it is. And I'm only in the UK. It's like as if I'm in Greece or something. This car is for Luella Nellis. Oh, here he is. There he is. He is. <laughs> this is so funny. This is so funny. Because I literally just saw a well just now, a wishing well. Well, somewhat, no, not a wishing well. It was... um a well but there was a bucket of water right and I was just seeing that and you have the king of cups and there is a lot of water here Luella you have a king of cups so this could be you or someone around you the king of cups is very creative very sensitive very loyal very caring very intuitive cancer Pisces a Scorpio very much um, around the home as well. They like decorating. They are very in tune with the feminine side. So if there's a male, you know, this person could be coming to you um, or this is someone around you that you know at the moment or this is you. So this could be your energy. I know it says king, but it doesn't necessarily mean male. You know, this could be female. So, um Half cup, no. What's I saying? Um, fill your cup half full, not half empty. Look at that there. He's holding a cup. It's see-through. He is very good with his feelings and speaking them to the point where people are very um, clear on their feelings. So I don't know if you need to be more clear on how you feel or someone needs to be more clear on how they feel, but the transparency of the cup, I feel there needs to be communication as well here on feelings. And um, please let me know how that resonates with you. All right. Half full, half no. Yeah, keep that cup half full, not half empty. All right, thank you, Luella. Next person. My phone is starting to kick me off now. Oh, dear, CC. Okay, next card, Heather Nicole. And I'll be shutting down very soon, guys. So this card's for Heather Nicole. Okay, Heather Nicole, I'm seeing a parachute, a parachute. Uh, let go, let go, and let God for you. Um, Here's your card. Whew. Guys, what's going on with this five of wands, man? Let go of the control. Let go of the arguing. Let go of word spoken. There is a change, okay? And it's going to need you to let go and surrender to the point where you are light. There is no heaviness, all right? 
let go, Heather Nicole, whatever that means to you. But I saw a parachute. Maybe even it was a hot air balloon. Um, <laughs> very random, Heather. But there is, you know, Five of Wands talks about arguments, fighting. So I feel something needs to be let go of. Okay, Tamara Clark, you are next. Oop, there it is, there it is. <laughs> right there. Wow, wow. This is a good card for you, Tamara. King of Swords, Tamara. Yeah, pretty much, Heather. Sink or swim. Heather, um, Tamara. This is a very good card to have, okay? If you've been feeling a little bit confused, indecisive, not being able to make choices, um, let me hold that closer for you so you can have a really, really good look. This is the Archangel Michael card as well. So he's around you too, I feel. He's helping you clear your mind. He's helping you meditate. He's helping you let go. Um, and also... Justice will be served. Justice will be done. Things will come into balance. Things will balance themselves out. They always do. That is the n way of the world. All right. Patience, a little bit of patience needed. Um, but this is the Libra card, but it can also relate to Aquarius and Gemini. It is the A sign card. So this is also talking about communication, letters, writing, contracts, uh, messages coming forward. Um, or the lack of, I feel the lack of messages. You are waiting for something to come through, and it will. Just have to be patient. Thank you, Tamara Clark. All right, guys, few more, and I'm, can, I'm closing the show. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this so far, you know, make sure to like and follow Divine Direction. All right, because I'm going to be live tomorrow as well with my friend Tasha's medium, Tasha, the psychic medium. And shaman, don't forget, guys, shaman poet, all right? Shaman perspective. He's also on YouTube as well. So check out Rory Campbell Shaman on, on YouTube, all right? He has um, beautiful, uh, inspiring, uplifting energy, guys, all right? Okay, Sam Haynes, I'm going to pull one for you now, my dear. This next card's for Sam Haynes. Lighten up, Sam, lighten up. I was feeling a bit of heaviness when I started shuffling the cards for you. Lighten up, I'm hearing, lighten up. So I don't know what that's about. Only you know, Sam. Lighten up. Oof, there you go. There's your card. Wow. There you go, look. Lighten up. You have the sun. <laughs> Is that enough light for you, Sam Haynes? <laughs> um, there you go. You, you have it. Lighten up. So uh, definitely, you know, things are going to lighten up for you. Um, for sure. Balance is coming back into your life where it hasn't been before, right? Balance. Balancing the scales. 
This could be Leo as well, Leo sign. Things are coming back into order now. All right, Sam Haynes, things are coming back into order now where they were a bit hectic before. All right, the sun's coming back to you, bringing you positivity, upliftment, strength, courage, confidence to move forward. All right. Her intuitive her intuition is strong. Thank you, Rory. Erica, Erica in the house. How's it going? Let's have a drink, guys. Okay, this next card's for Erica. Craven. Next cards for Erica Craven. There it is, look, there it is. Ah, catch it before it falls. Um, and I was hearing a song, um, Erica. I was hearing a song for you, and it was Girl, Don't Be Lonely, or um, something like that. Don't be lonely, or I don't know what that means, Erica. But you do have, now does this want to be in reverse or upright? Okay, it wants to be in reverse. So you have the fool in reverse. Now, if you don't know, the fool is the traveler. It's um, the risk taker. It's it's a beginning. It's an opportunity. It's um, the start of a new journey. You're not quite there yet, Erica. Um, things are delayed. Wherever it is you're seeking, it's delayed at the moment, right? But it is on its way, Erica. It is on its way. Okay. Next. So, thank you, Erica. Go check you, Rory on YouTube, all right? Antoinette, I pulled your card earlier, my darling. <laughs> You'll have to go back and watch the video, all right? Cece, I pulled your card. Or did I? Or did I not? Oops. All right, this card for Cece. I'm sure I pulled your card, Cece. I am positive I pulled you a card. Yeah, Cece, you are the ace of wands, dear. You are the ace of wands. You had the ace of wands. I pulled this for you earlier, Cece. Ace of wands. I'm surprised you didn't catch it. <laughs> okay, next we have... Yeah, please share this, guys, all right? No, I'm not drinking for a while, Andrea. <laughs> okay, I'm going to scroll right to the top of the comments, guys. 
All right. Card for Donna Redford. I'm on Facebook, Quintessential Oracle. Rory is on Facebook, Rory Shaman. Donna Redford. Hey, right, Donna, you need to rest. You need to take it easy. Four of Swords. Too much mental worry, too much mental... Too many thoughts around you, Donna. Um, too many thoughts here. Rest. Need mental rest. Meditation. All right? Meditation, Donna. All right, guys. Card for Elizabeth. 15 more minutes, guys, and then I'm switching off, all right? It is quarter to 11 here now in the UK. Card for Elizabeth. You're welcome, Donna. Card for Elizabeth, please. Elizabeth and uh, Here you are. Justice. Interesting. I haven't really read this card before in this, in this deck. Justice. For you, Elizabeth. But for you, I feel you are looking for a relationship. Could very well be you are looking for the one. You are looking for the one. The one who equals, um, you know, like your dark side, their light side, their light side, your dark side. It's like that's what you're looking. And um, this is also the balance card. So things are going to come back into balance for you, Elizabeth, if they haven't done yet, so. This is also the Libra card. So if you know a Libra or if you are a Libra, this is talking to you. Uh, justice. So this is to do with um, something like contract-wise, signing papers. I'm seeing papers. I'm seeing writing, signing contracts. So whatever that's about, you, I feel you know. Um, Elizabeth, I feel what Spirit is saying to me as well. Work on your shadow side. Work on your shadow self. Things that you are ignoring that are trying to get your attention. All right? That's for you, Elizabeth. Next, we have Andrea. Hello, Andrea, my good friend. How are you, my darling? So, guys, if you didn't know, Andrea um, is a aromatherapist. She's a Reiki healer. She's very crafty and creative. Card for Andrea's anniversary, please. What was your question, Andrea? That's not even it. <laughs> what was your question, Andrea? Well, there you have it, Elizabeth. It was definitely for you, that card. And my darling has just joined us, Ignacio. Hello, my love. <laughs> it's boiling in you. It's like a flipping, uh, it's like I'm in, sitting in a desert. Like, 
and I'm only in the UK. Like, will I get to spend time with my husband? So, card for Andrea. Ah, uh, here we have it. Wow. Hmm. All right. Well, you're the queen of uh, coins, Andrea. As you or as you did not know, the queen of coins, it does like to work. They do like their work. They are connected to the earth. They are very, um, you know, they are very connected to the first three chakras. Very earthy, very grounded, very stable, very secure. But that is because they work a lot. So I don't know, I, you know, all I can feel here is that there's a lot of, a lot of work, um, a lot of work going on. So, I, I just keep feeling like, you know, time has to be made. Um, you have to make time, you know, you have to make time. Um, because I feel there's a lot of work. Um, I don't know if your husband's a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus Earth sign, but that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Looks like you. Yeah, Niti, it does look like me. <laughs> okay, so the next card is going to be for my darling, Ignacio. <laughs> you crack me up. Get down, baby doll. Okay, let me scroll to the top of the comments to see. Yes, yeah, spot on. Thank you, Andrea. You're very welcome. This next card is for Ignacio. Guys, we have five minutes left. So if you want a card, please let me know. Because you will be the last person. All right. So this is cards for Ignacio. Well, it's definitely driving, Nietzsche. Definitely going to be driving. I'm seeing a wheel. Um, so things are going to be moving um, and changing. I feel you are coming to an end of the cycle and is now going to be a new beginning. All right. So I'm seeing the wheel and I'm seeing it turning. So definitely travel as well. Card doesn't want to come out though. <laughs> You're going to get lucky, Iggy. <laughs> Ooh, was that for you? Knight of Swords, Nietzsche. You are mentally going to be flying high, my friend. <laughs> Check it. 
<laughs> Look, he's got he's got wings on the helmet. But more so, this is communication. Um, you're you're waiting for some type of communication. This is the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, messages, communication, speaking, talking, um, text. Uh, what else? else but i do feel nietzsche you know um mentally like around here there needs to be some type of protection you know um and i don't know what that's about babe i don't know what that's about but protection ha 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 right remove yourself away from something all right if you feel you need to protect yourself move yourself away from that look at the wings look mentally fly yourself away from what you feel is not good for you for what you feel is not lifting you up because as you can clearly see you know this is in the air so something also is in the air and you're waiting on it you are waiting on it all right all right that was for Nietzsche. these cards are gateway to the divine tarot elizabeth and they're fucking awesome <laughs> they're fucking awesome Nietzsche, keep it cool. Keep it cool, calm and collected, I'm hearing. Cool, calm and collected. The Knight of Swords is all about cool, calm and collected communication. Keeping it cool, you know. But messages and communication is going to fly in as well for you, Nietzsche. So... Okay, I know I've missed someone, so I'm just scrolling down. Yvonne Uber, that was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. Okay, guys, so we're going to end the show with Yvonne, Yvonne Uber. And I hope you've all enjoyed being here with me today. And I hope I've helped you um, and brought your guidance. Um. What was I going to say? All right, so hopeevolve.com, go check it. Angelfeathervision.org, go check it. Theinneressence.net, go check it. Rory Campbell, Shaman Poet, go check him. Inner Strings Wisdom, Ignacio, go check him. Uh, Quintessential Oracle, go check me. <laughs> uh, Vowofservice.org, go check Nikki and... John, have I missed anyone out? <laughs> Tasha Hawker, psychic medium, intuitive. Go check it on Facebook. So loads and divine direction, guys. All those links are on the divine direction page. All right. And I'm going live tomorrow as well. Whoa, I'm going live tomorrow. Guys, 9 p.m. UK time, London UK time on Divine Direction page. So check it out. Tune in. Um, Tasha and me are going to be giving you guidance, spiritual messages, you know, all that stuff, all that good stuff, free and live. Can't go wrong. <laughs> and he stopped breathing there. Right, so this card... It's for Yvonne. We're finishing up. We're finishing up the evening with Yvonne. Your card is the moon. The moon. There could be an air of confusion, uh, discomfort somehow. Illusions. There's a need to see the truth. 
feel the truth, know the truth. Look through the illusions. All right, guys, look through the illusions. Look through the illusions, um, Yvonne. Things will become clear in due course. Be patient, sit back for now. Uh, be one with your emotions, your confusion. Allow it to flow, you know. Um, intuition, listen to your intuition is calling to you, all right? Is calling to you, the moon. Um, look after yourself. A lot of um, something to do with water here as well. Make sure you're spending plenty of time around water, Yvonne. All right? Make sure you're spending plenty of time around water. Wow. I'm looking at your profile picture, and it looks a lot like this. The moon. This is also the Pisces as well, Pisces energy. So I don't know if you're Pisces or someone around you is a Pisces. But I do feel someone is very psychic, right? Someone's very psychic and they know someone's telling lies and porky pies. So tune into that, right? Keep tune into that because I feel you're onto something there, Yvonne. Nova. Right, guys. So thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Um, I'm really glad you all tuned in. And Yvonne Nova, I hope that resonated with you. I hope that resonate with, resonated. And guys, don't forget, right? One sec, I'm gonna put on the screen now. Go check out divine direction on facebook all right divine direction on facebook go check it out loved it you're the best girl get needed drinking yeah all right everyone see you tomorrow live on divine direction on facebook bye <laughs> Time for some wine. Not quite yet. <laughs>